All right, guys, so I've been in here in the shop tonight uh, playing around with the new Omtech. This is the 60-watt MOPA. This is the autofocus version of this machine. And, guys, if you get one or if you have one, just before you even get it out of the box, familiarize yourself with this button right here, okay? Your machine is not going to have these high-speed, low-drag clack shack labels. Yours is gonna have little paper ones that look a lot like that one underneath the key right there. But this button where it says reset out of the box, that is actually to engage the laser source. So you have to push this button before the laser will do anything. <laughs> Took me three days to figure that one out. But anyway, got it up, got it going. And guys, you know, I've, I've always wanted to get me at like a MOPA, like a 60, 80, 100 watt MOPA, so I could do like fiber laser stuff, right? Because I've had 20s and 30s, and they do a really good job for engraving. But I've always wanted to do like a coin or something. But I never really had a machine that had the gumption to do those coins. So, of course, first thing that I'm going to do, well, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an old saw blade and just, you know, just play around. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brass coin and I want to see how deep I can go. And everybody always says that it takes about 250 passes to get a decent relief on a brass coin. So I set me up an engrave, just a little 10 millimeter circle. Just use the settings that I thought would work. And I set it for 250 passes. Yeah, bit much, guys. Bit much. Uh, I went all the way through the coin. And I've went probably a good half mil, maybe maybe three quarters of a mil into my little aluminum protective block that I put under it just in case because I'm trying not to scar this one up, guys. It usually happens within the first week. I'll mark something on that base, but I'm trying not to. So I put this little piece of aluminum under there. Two reasons. To absorb the heat because these things do get hot. So if you're doing coins, don't put nothing plastic or wood under them. Ask me how I know. Uh, but, but yeah, guys, so I was worried I wouldn't be able to get the depth on these coins. Not going to be a problem. So now I just got to figure out how to make the file easy peasy. So there it is guys. Uh, home tech 60 watt Mopa. So stay tuned for more.